So here we calculating deflation at the surface of the pavement. So uh, I have a question here. Mm, okay. So we could suppose to calculate the deflation at the surface of a flexible pavement due to a load of 40 kilonewtons and a tire pressure of 0 0.5 millinewtons per meter square. The modulus of elasticity E of the pavement and the subgrade may be assumed to be uniformly equal to 20 millinewtons per meter square. <coughs> so radius of the contact area A is given by tire pressure. So first we're going to find the tire pressure. The tire pressure is the same as we load divided by pi A squared. So that's the area by A squared, the area of the conduct area. So the area described by by a tire footprint is normally elliptical in shape. The tire footprint can be defined by a equivalent circular area with a radius calculated by so A as the radius is calculated using this formula here. So from this here, you make a square the subject of the formula. So you're going to multiply both sides by a square, then you divide by tire pressure. Then for you to remain with a a a alone, so you're going to find root of wheel load. You divide by by then you multiply by the tire pressure. So you're going to get this formula for calculating the, the radius. So substituting now this formula. So the wheel load you divide by 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 the pressure. That's the root of this. So substituting, you have the value of wheel load here is given. The wheel load here is 40. Then you divide by pi and then by tire pressure, then you find the root of that. So the tire pressure is 0 0.5. So we're going to convert this to be newton per newtons per, per meter square. So this this one is millinewtons per meter square. So it will be 0 0.5 by 10 power of 6. So substituting here. Uh, in this equation, we have the wheel load being 40 kilonewtons, so you convert to be newtons, so you multiply by 1000, then you divide by pi by 0 0.5, which is the tire pressure, by 10 per 6. So you can, uh, after converting the tire pressure to newtons per meter square, so you can going to carry your value in centimeters, so the value in meters is by 100. So the value of a meter is 0 0.1595. So converting this to centimeters will be 15.95 centimeters. That's the value of a. So we already have the we already have the radius. So for us to find the tire pressure here, it will be wheel load by by a square. We already have the value of a. We already have the the, the value of wheel load is given. It's 14 kilonewtons still, so it's 40 by 10 power 6. We'll divide by by times a square with the value of a here is 0 0.1595 meters. So converting to pin centimeters, we had it to be 15.95. So 15.95. So multiply now by 0 0.15, which is in meters, then 40 by 1,000 to be in newtons. So we will get a value here. But we're going to substitute this formula for you to get a deflection, deflection of a flexible pavement. So this was a flexible pavement. So calculate the deflection of the, the surface of a flexible pavement. So this is a flexible pavement. So the formula for calculating deflection in a flexible pavement is 1.5 BA.
that's the pressure you multiply by a and you divide by a that's the elastic modulus of the bevel here so you are provided to be 20 millinewtons per meter squared that's the e modulus of elasticity of the pavement so so this one will be this one will be 1.5 you multiply by the pressure so the whole of this so you multiply by pressure 1.5 by 40 by 1000 by you divide by pi by 0 0.15 meter square here then you multiply by a which is the value of a we had it already well it's 15.95 but converting this to be in meters we'll have it to be 0 0.1595 so substituting here we have it 0 0.1595 you divide by elastic modulus so which you have provided to be 20 million newtons per meter square but converting this to be newtons per meter square you multiply by 10 power 6 so you'll get a value of a deflection pin 0 0.0 0 0.0059866 meters. So converting that to pin centimeters, you'll get 0 0.5986 centimeters. So this is the end of our tutorial. Thank you for watching. For more, make sure you subscribe.